What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT, my name is Ben, your host, and today Apple has released WatchOS 8, the first developer beta. If you are waiting for the public uh, profile, that is going to come out after one month, that's what Apple said, so sometime next month, that's when the public beta comes out. As a roundup, let's go on and look at what changed when it comes to WatchOS 8. So, the first things first, you need to know how you can update and which devices are supported, so in order to update you first of all need to update your iphone to ios 15 as you can see this one has been updated to ios 15 you can see the new notification center that we have and then after updating your iphone that's paired with your apple watch you can then go ahead and update your watch to watch os 8 if you are looking for ways that you can update to ios 15 or watch os 8 or even mac os 12 i've made some videos on the channel that can help you in doing that now again with this update it's supported from the apple watch series 3 so that is very good news because if you had updated your watch to watch os 8 then you no longer have to worry whether it's going to be supported or not because the support list is exactly the same as watch os 7 so series 3 and newer and when it comes to the iphone that is supported on ios 15 you need an iphone 6s or newer so most of these iphones that you're seeing here like this iphone 6s here this is supported it's exactly the same as ios 14 i'm actually happy that apple managed to keep the exact support list so that's what you need to do and then after that you can update and enjoy watch os 8 the first developer beta now for me on my apple watch series 6 that you are seeing here the update size was quite big it came in at exactly 1.1 gigs and i was updating from watch os 7 1.1 gig is quite large for an apple watch and if we go into the settings and go to general and go to the about this watch section you can see the new build number that we have right there and it's 19r5266q so this build number is highly unstable and unless you know what you're doing or have a backup device i wouldn't advise you update to this watchOS 8 developer beta 1. Now, let's talk about new features and changes when it comes to watchOS 8, since there's a ton of new features and changes. First one we want to talk about has to do with some enhancements that came to health tracking. So we have a new application and you can see this app if you open it there, that is the mindfulness app. So it helps you focus and also helps you breathe a little bit better and it has some new um, splash screen so you can see how it is if you open it for the first time it sort of explained to you what it is and also you can see how it's changed from what we had before you can end the this by just going here or if you want to reflect and sort of focus a little bit and relax your mind you can click there and it to tell you what it's trying to accomplish and it says welcome to reflect each minute long session offers a simple reflection you can think about and carry with you and if you continue you take a moment to reflect and once you do that you can click begin and you will see the new um, sort of splash screen that we have here when it comes to this focus so just relax your mind a little bit and calm down and try and collect a memory or a focus that's the aim of this mindfulness app so it's a reflective session to help you focus a little bit better now again another app that has been updated heavily has to do with a health app for this one i'm going to go to the iphone in order to show you all the changes since there's quite a bit so health works hand in hand with the iphone and the apple watch right so if we open the health app you'll be able to see that if you go to the browse section and you go to where it says respiratory right there 
and you go all the way down uh, you'll be able to see respiratory rate so now the apple watch measures your respiratory rate when you are sleeping and it will be able to see whether there's a change in your pattern and it will be also able to give you recommendations that is something that's good another good thing that came with the apple watch watch os 8 and also to ios 15 has to do with better mobility for tracking so the apple watch basically tracks your steps it also tracks what's the distance between each of your steps that you take and it tries to keep you uh, to give you a better walking steadiness so to find this walking steadiness you want to go to the browse section and then you want to go to the mobility section let me just look for the mobility section so that's the mobility section and if you go all the way down you'll be able to see walking steadiness so if you click there you can see that i don't have data or any collected data when it comes to my walking steadiness and if you want to set it up you can you know set up your walking steadiness and you'll be able to get notification and it will also be able to tell you what's causing it and also you can read about walking steadiness if you want to there's also a very good summary that you can get using the health app in conjunction with watchOS 8 on the apple watch so if you go to summary there and go down a little bit you'll be able to see your trends so you can see some of my trends that i have here my consistency steps for the last 28 days and there's a whole lot of data that it collects some of them are quite confidential down there but for example you can see my trends when it comes to steps and let's say i want to share my trends i can always click there and i can see my uh, trends in terms of uh, bars or in terms of lines and if i want to share my trends i can always share my trends or if i have any health changes or data that i want to incorporate to this i can always go there and add data and the good thing about this trends update you can actually share your trends with your trusted friends and family members so for example let's say you have an elderly parent or a grandma that you care for and they have an apple watch right and you want to sort of monitor their trends and know when something is a bit off you can share the trends of their apple watch to yourself and you'll be able to monitor them in a better way so that is health for you and also that's not all that um, has been updated i believe there's an update when it comes to labs so you can collect more information on your health and if you want to share that information with your healthcare center you can always go to the labs and also be able to understand that data more accurately this is being rolled out and so far a few companies in the u.s have signed up for this and with time more will be hopping on now that's health for you when it comes to watch os 8 hand in hand with ios 15 now let's talk about the home app because a number of people use the home app to uh, communicate and also to manage devices in the home so on the apple watch if you have like smart cameras set up or uh, home port devices and also any home accessories in your home you can actually use your apple watch to answer the door and if you have a smart camera you'll be able to see who's approaching and you can hold the button and use your apple watch as a microphone and you can also detect whether there's a package because the smart devices we have some that are able to detect whether there's a package waiting for you at your home so that you keep an eye on it so you can do that on the home app and not only that but you can also read messages in the home app which are like shared messages between the people that use the home app so that's something good and also there's another new app that came with watch was 8 and as you can see this is a new app and if we open it you can see that it's a find items app the name of it if we try to multitask you can say, you see the name there it says find items and if you open it this is a new standalone app that allows users to sort of locate and track items that are part of the find my network you can see the battery and sort of the location you can notify or set it to a lost mode so just 
more likely or more similar to what we had on the find my app but with more options so that's good and that's not all you probably notice a new setting with this uh, watch os 8 if you go into settings you will notice that do not disturb has been sort of refreshed we now have focus so if you click on focus right there you can see that you can choose an activity to focus and you can mirror focus that you set on your different devices to be the same on the apple watch so for example on the apple watch if i i mean on the iphone if i pull down my control center here you can see do not disturb has been enabled but if i turn off do not disturb this turns into focus right but if i hold on to focus right there you can see some of the things that i can choose to focus on so for example if i want to focus on my sleep i can focus on the sleep right there or if i want to focus on personal things i can do that and i can focus also on my work or i can create a custom focus let's say i just want to focus on certain movies that me and my friends want to do that i can create a new focus right there and you can see some other custom focuses or activities that you can choose to focus on driving fitness gaming reading and so on and once i create that focus list i can always mirror it on my apple watch so let me go ahead and put do not disturb so that these notifications stop coming so that's the new settings and how it has been updated on the apple watch so focus or do not disturb has been updated to become focus there just to give you more uh, better usage and also on the apple watch if you use the apple music application which i don't use because you see spotify that i use here so uh i use spotify for most of my devices because i can play it even on android or whatever so if you use the apple music app you can actually be able to share songs and albums easily via text messages that is something that is good and also if you have the wallet app keys and id cards in wallet are now supported and ultra wide band for car keys are supported so if you have like the supported car i believe they showed the bmw car if you have that you can set up more keys and also you can set up your car so that you don't even have to touch your physical car keys you can just use the uh, wallet app if you have your keys in there that is something that's good and also that's not all that came with this update there's a lot when it comes to fitness if you're an apple fitness plus subscriber you can actually airplay to an airplay to enable device and now that mac os 12 monterey has been uh, released you can also airplay to your mac and if you want to use your mac as a speaker you can always do that and airplay to your mac that is something that is good and also we have some new workouts when it comes to this fitness slash workout app we have some new tiachi workout and some new blood rest workouts and also we have more fitness trainers i believe they showed jenna jason i'm not sure who that is and if you like to listen to your favorite artist when doing a workout they've added more artists like lady gaga and janelle monet i believe i hopefully i said it right now that's not all again that has been updated with watch os 8 as you can see i changed my watch face right so now we didn't get a new watch face when it comes to watch os 8 however they update the photos watch face so this is a portrait picture that i it's a selfie portrait that i tried to take on one of my iphones and i tried to set it as a watch face because they showcase that on the watch face you can actually set a portrait watch face and the date and time will be able to go behind you or behind your subject but i tried different pictures it didn't work i'm not sure what could be the issue here you can see some of my watch faces that i have and i did try to customize this and select different pictures but for some reason it won't work for you let me know if this works for you in the comment section and if you have the date or the time of these parameters behind your subject so like behind my head like what i showed off at wwdc 2021 now also that's not all the photos 
app has been updated just give me a moment to find the photos app so there's the photos app if you have favorites you can now search for them a little bit better and you can manage your photos a little bit better and if you go into your photos and open like a specific photo you can see this one that i like to use if i click on the share icon here there's a little share button here if i click on it you can see that i have the option to share this picture or even an album to messages or using my email i can send it to an email or if i want i can even create like a watch face so that is something that's good and also better searching when it comes to hashtag so if you have like a, a hashtag group on the iphone in your photos and you have like sort of created it and you want to uh, search for it you can do so on the apple watch and when you are typing a message or searching for something you can use your crown to sort of move the cursor and make adjustments so for example let me add a message here and type some random stuff my handwriting is just this is just random so you can see i can move the cursor by just uh rotating the crown here and that is something that's good now that's not all again that has been updated there's a little update that has been done when it comes to siri so siri just received minor changes siri now uses on device or on demand speech recognition to avoid unwanted voice tracking and you can operate siri in most cases to perform in-house specific functions without having to need like an internet or a wi-fi connection i'm still curious to see what some of these things are going to be i'll test it out and perhaps i'll do a follow-up video now also the mail app has been updated to include more privacy so since you have the mail app on the apple watch and you can reply to like some of the emails and links some links have hidden trackers and with the mail app it hides your ip and also information such as when you clicked on the link and also just overly it has been updated to be a little bit more uh, private as you can see that is about it for me when it comes to watch os 8 it has been like quite a big update 1.1 gig but no major changes or new watch faces or application changes you can see uh, most of the apps just a few you know apps that have been added and you know shortcuts is there as you can see but nothing major it's just a good update and very convenient a lot of updates came to health i will be setting up most of these uh health new features that came and other than that that's about it for me guys when it comes to watch os 8 if you like this video please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe down below if you want to download this watch os 8 check out some of my other videos on the channel and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video very soon peace